song you recorded the first song i recorded was Abu. that's Abu. what they're playing right that's now what, that's what's yes, in the background that's, Abu was my very first single okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> then, let me see so i was also i dropped Abu, then i dropped a project which was um metanoia okay and um, which that was hard that's like the full introduction of me to music it's not so, it's not so, the soulfulness okay. to, <laughs> to the world so yeah it's been a good journey and it's people to perform, perform. Before. Okay. I don't even sing in church so okay. much more like a whole national theater every week mm-hmm. the whole auditorium filled with people and I I felt like I wasn't ready okay you know, I felt like it wasn't my time but I learned so much that's one thing that I'm very happy about I think I went there to probably learn about learn. myself about my voice it should be a divine calling yes. probably <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so your type of music you do, you do yeah. soul music. Yeah. How, how how would you describe it? Um, how are people um, in in our parts of the world in Ghana, honestly? But mm. then so far, honestly, it's good. How I look. Okay. Um, they can say so. I remember when I started at a Icon, icons, someone told me that mm. because I can't mention it. Mm. One of them that I look too small, and that if I'm standing in front of him performing, he won't take me seriously. Oh, really? So no one can take me seriously. Okay. So I should probably go and eat and gain some weight and go up. <laughs> you know, like that's how trivial it okay. can be. Okay. Okay. Well, sometimes you can never go to the song. Mm. Oh, this song there, especially Ojoli and some other songs I release, they're like it's too old for me. Mm-hmm. Like. I'm too young to be singing such like songs. Like, if you say, what do you bring for you? Exactly. Unupani. 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 Okay, if you're unupani. Unupani. Yeah. Okay, if you're unupani. It's a banger. It's a real banger. <laughs> is, is that what it is? Exactly. Exactly <laughs> what it is. So these things can discourage you big time. I think most of the female artists go to it. I'm not even going to Did you describe uh, that as partic- a particular challenge in your career? Um, I think it's not... A challenge per se, maybe it's because of how I have internalized mm-hmm. how I've taken it. I, in my mind, I'm like, okay, you are doing this, okay, I'll show you. I'll <laughs> okay, so rather <laughs> so, uh, 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 put it uh, uh, on the challenge there, uh, on the spot, yeah. just do, 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 uh, do your best. Just do your best, keep pushing. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, um, I have I have this um rhythm in the background. Let's see if you can write it soulfully for me a little bit. Mm. Uh, Let's see, let's see. <laughs> What is this? Take Baby, I'll never ever ever let you go. Ever know if you know. I take you further, further than you see. I take you everywhere, everywhere you want. I take you further. <laughs> Further than you see, I take you everywhere, everywhere you go. Oh, Jolly in Kibabago. Hey! Kibabago. Oh, Angel in Kibabago. 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 I will enjoy in Kibabago. 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 I will enjoy in Kibabago. 
Is this awful enough? Yeah. <laughs> Too much. Oh, okay. I'm Too dying. Much. I'm nothing. <laughs> so, uh, doing an, an, an Afro beat uh, yeah. rhythm. So, so, all those doubters out there, maybe, maybe I'm not, they might think they're on to the radio. Oh, my God. That's what I had to do this <laughs> That was nice. That was a nice show. You did tell me. Uh, yes. Who's listening to me? Okay. You know, I can't wait. Meanwhile, they don't understand, but they are singing it to me. They are singing it to me. And that will be a dream come true. I just want to tour and show what Ghana has to offer. Um, Hopefully, win a Grammy for Ghana one time. That would be nice. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. You represent your Ghana people. And um, through your music, and I mean, the way you look and dress and all that, uh, you you try to portray African and I mean, try to do a little bit more. Of, yeah. I mean, Ghanaian, yeah. Ghanaian traditional yes. Ghana thing. Yes. Um, well, I don't know. Do you let like that reflect in your songs as well? Definitely. Def- like, I can't show that one there. Um, well, of course, I can't show my queen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I have an idea about this. Uh-huh. Mm. So yes, I, I try, even the things that guys say, guys are always saying, oh, jolly, oh, jolly, oh, jolly, oh, jolly. Mm-hmm. and some people, the one thing that I realized that people, it's a sort of a stereotype, is people say guys like to my love you, they are using too much, uh-huh. that's not true, uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know why people like saying that, <laughs> like, like, they like talking about even food, even though I have a song called Tatali, it's not okay. true, <laughs> <laughs> Tatali, Tatali is true, right? <laughs> Tatali, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I mean, I sing a lot of guys, because first and foremost, I'm guys first, before mm-hmm. anything, so, I can't sing any other language because it will be hard for me. It okay. won't be real. It won't, it won't be relatable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why I represent them full time. Full time. I'm half Ghana, half Ewe. So okay. maybe I might sing Ewe. You never know. Maybe sometime in my life. You do some Ewe song. Yes. You don't like it. <laughs> okay. You don't like well, um, uh, what, what, let's talk about support and uh, how you put your songs together. Do you, do you get any support? Are you on a record deal or, or um, stuff like that? Um, let me see. It's, it's half and half. Um, I got signed to Universal last year. Okay. Um, so that's how come I released my song called 1201. Okay. So that was a, was a single deal with them. Okay. So currently we are working on extending it to maybe an album deal. Okay. So I'm half and half still working. Working with, with them. them. Yes. Okay, Universal. Yeah. Okay. Universal, yes. Okay. So it means that um, your, your EP you released was released on... Yeah. Or, no, that was mine. Just... That was just me. Okay, that was just you. Yeah, that was just me. Okay. Only. Um, particularly financially, how are you able to pull through? Small, small. Small, small. small, small. Yeah, studio, I mean, studio fees studio and all, fee, that, and all that. Right now, it's like, it's like everything you get, you put it back into what into you're doing. You don't really have money that you can be spending around. Mm-hmm. Because you know if you go and spend right now, tomorrow morning, you're going to pay studio fees for, let's say, 1000 mm-hmm. 2000 So it's, it's more of investing yourself, so reinvesting, reinvesting mm-hmm. the whole time. So it's not small, we're managing, honestly. <laughs> but we know that all this hustle will be in vain. Oh, so definitely. Music first before anything else. But I think, I, I honestly don't think they intentionally maybe mm. want to show skin. Maybe uh, uh, just for the sake of hype, I mean, try to put a new picture or something to put something that, you know, would to try to create attention. Personally, I think that's what the media likes. You know, mm. that's what, the, and also that's what the media feeds. Of, or tells people that oh she maybe she just posted the picture whoever it is probably just posted the picture a nice picture of her in a nice dress maybe she mm-hmm. should be winning something that's her mm-hmm. her personal choice mm-hmm. but the media will go and tag and go and write something like she has posted this picture to probably do something when well, she mm-hmm. hasn't done anything like that mm-hmm. that's not only sometimes I really truly blame the media mm-hmm. for that because the person hasn't done she's people let people I'm a pro choice person like one mm-hmm. day whatever would they want to do let them do it it's really not true. Mm. Then do it. Whatever they want to do. Because mm. music is art. Everyone, if if they say, who who, let me give like Picasso, or one of those artists, those paintings do something. You don't go and question them. Like, why did you put the eyes here? Why didn't you put it here? Mm-hmm. But why do people like to question female artists? Or let's say artists. So much. Okay, why did you wear this? Why did you sing this? Mm-hmm. I think people, it's their art. I think okay. people don't realize that music is art. Let them express themselves. So, uh, for for example. Uh, like what happened last um, week mm-hmm. um, when the Shea President Kufo, I mean, that stuff. I mean, a lot of um, criticisms went to Wendy Shea. Mm-hmm. From what you're saying, that it means that, I mean, she should be left alone to do her thing. Yes, yes, honestly, let's her live. It's her art, it's her life, it's her music, it's her career. No one will come and pull you out of the room because Wendy Shea did something. 
you understand? So I think it's just unfair. I suppose it's so much, she's a really great vocalist, and it's really when they can actually sing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's leave her. <laughs> let her do a thing, eh? Let her do a thing, let her do a thing. <laughs> is there any kind of tussle between male artists and female artists in Ghana? Looks like there's uh, there's a trend that the, the, the female acts are coming up in their numbers every single day. You hear of a new artist, a female act yes. coming through. Yeah, and it's exciting. I'm very happy because every time, everywhere I go, they ask me this question, why do I think male artists are dominating the yes. industry? And so when they ask that thing, I'm like, right now when I see a new female artist coming up, I'm so excited because I can't wait till that narrative changes. Mm -hmm. Like I really can't because they're friends, okay. let's say lover or sightseeing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your wife is coming. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just saying that your wife, the whole song, I'm just saying your wife has traveled yeah. and you've gone for you know, another female. <laughs> okay. So and then you're hanging out with her. Like and then you know you can't take care of both women. You don't okay. have the money to take care of two people. Uh -huh. Why are you disgracing your family? Mm. Yeah. Uh, she was jolly. She oh, 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 uh, oh, nah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's hear you sing live on this one. Let me take it from the top. Let me take it from the top. <laughs> oh, jolly. Sing a soul. That's right. Now I'm on this one. No size. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Olaka, <laughs> I should Oh, 